What's up guys? Jamie the Spirit Coach here to give you guys a general tarot reading. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest guys. It may or may not be for you at this time. Feel free to check out your moon or rising sign. Um, there may be something there for you or come back later and see if I've posted any new videos for your sign to find a message later on, right? So, um, this message is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much. My heart sees and recognizes you guys, and I appreciate all your support of the channel. Feel free to hit that like button, guys, or give me a follow if you haven't already, and click that notification bell so that you know the next time I upload a reading for you. So for today's message, guys, we're going to be talking to our spirit guides. This could be a passed on loved one, an ancestor, um, or just simply someone on the, in the spiritual realm, you know, on your team, helping you out on this journey. Um, this could even be an angel, right? So we're going to ask questions like, what is their sign that they give to you to let you know that they are nearby? What kind of experiences are you having when they show up, right? We're going to find out what lessons they are helping you learn, uh, what obstacles to look out for, what gifts you possess, right? We all have some type of gift or ability or intuitive ability of some sort, um, but it's up to us to tap into that, right? And to use that ability to help both ourselves and the people in our journey. Um, we're going to find out what your next steps are, and we're going to find out a direct message from your spirit guide with some oracle cards and to end the reading we'll pull a message from our numerology deck because i do believe that our angels and our guides love to speak to us through numbers so this will be a number that you can look out for over the next coming days or weeks over the course of this whole month pretty much um, when you see this number pay attention to the thoughts that you're having at that moment or what were you visualizing before it happened? Or what is happening in your experience when you see this number? Or what are you feeling, right? Or what, are your, what does your body feel? So um, there could be hidden little messages in that for you. So pay attention, be aware, and know that that is your spirit guide showing up and supporting you in that moment. So we're going to jump in and pull some cards from the tarot. Let me just tilt this down so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So, for the sign of Capricorn, spirit guides, angels, loved ones, for the sign of Capricorn, what is your sign to let Capricorn know that you are nearby? We're going to find out. What is your sign, Spirit, to let Capricorn know that you are around? What sign do you give Capricorn? Can we get, wow, we, oh, wow, we got three cards, guys. Let's see. Oh, four cards. Wow. Okay, so we got four of pentacles, knight of swords, four of swords reversed, and the hanged man okay so right off the bat i see coins pinnacles so this person could be sending you different coins here and there you may find um pennies nickels dimes quarters things like that just randomly um in in strange places know that that is your spirit guide um showing you that they are present and in your experience, they're asking you to um, kind of close your eyes in that moment and connect with them, right? I, the Four of Pentacles, it, it's the sense of hanging on, right? It could be holding on tightly. So this could be someone that you hold very close to your heart, someone that you hold really, really tightly. Um, you could be holding on to um, even their passing, right? Some, some pain or um, grief from their passing with the knight of swords coming out next you could have felt like this happened suddenly right unexpectedly maybe even um out of the blue 
this person. I feel like they could have been a younger person. Um, I, I feel, I'm going to say between like the ages of, I'm hearing mid-20s and older. Um, it could be a little younger than that even, but I'm seeing like a younger representation in all of these cards, a younger depiction. So, um, it could have been a younger person. Um, maybe a sister or a best friend or a cousin, something like that. Um, I feel like this person uh, really, in the times that you've um, found yourself feeling kind of trapped, um, this person has really helped you come out of that, right? Helped you turn that mentality around. They could have been like a very optimistic person in their lifetime and offered new perspectives on things with the hanged man. The hanged man is like a pause energy. She's upside down seeing something differently with a different viewpoint, right? Um, analyzing something, observing something. So um, I feel like they could send different symbols to there should there could be like a specific symbol that they send you even um hang on a second guys let me see here you could have a tattoo of this as well there could you know you could have a tattoo that's representing this person or be thinking about getting a tattoo um, and just know that this person is supporting that, right? I can't help but see all these little symbols on these cards. So I feel like that's significant. Like maybe it's like, I don't even know what kind of symbols those are. I don't know if it's Reiki symbols or if it's like Viking symbols. Tarot symbols, obviously. <laughs> Because we are reading the tarot. I kind of want to look a little bit deeper into the four of swords in the reverse, okay? So, hang on a second here. They could also be sending you things that, like, you could be seeing, like, heart, heart shape symbols here and there. Maybe that's what the symbol is, a heart. Um, when you see this, the heart shape in different random places, maybe you see a, sh a, a rock that's shaped like a heart or you see a shadow that's shaped like a heart or something like that. I'm seeing hearts, um, or you could have a tattoo that's a heart even Re that is a memory for this person. Let's see. Four of swords reversed, not recognizing... Not recognizing the dangers of burnout, a need to spend time recovering, dedicating your energy to self-care. Tending to your wounds. Okay, so that kind of goes back to what I was saying in the beginning. You could be holding on to some type of grief or pain around this um, loss as well and this is saying like there's a need for you to heal that this person is really stepping up right now and saying like they love you and they are okay and it's okay to heal and let yourself feel better about this Take some time to rest. I feel like you maybe you could be pushing yourself a little too far, pushing yourself a little too hard um, in certain areas, um, or pushing yourself to like not really look at the pain that you're experiencing. Maybe give yourself permission to slow down. Give yourself permission to heal right now. Okay, so let's see. What are the lessons that you are helping Capricorn with at this time, Spirit? What are the lessons? What lessons are you helping Capricorn with, Spirit? Okay. 
Okay, so we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So it could be um, re regarding like career, financial stability, building a home life, um, building a strong foundation for yourself, like going towards your dreams, right? Finding balance in work and play. It could be... Um, all these came out in the reverse so like seven of pentacles is like nurturing what the seeds that you've planted um two of pentacles is balance harmony you know like finding a way to manage all the different aspects of your life in a way that is beneficial to you that doesn't cause you burnout that doesn't cause you to be drained um Knight of Pentacles, going out after the rest of your pinnacles, right? Going to find the perfect pinnacle for you. Um, but Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like stagnant energy, stalemate type of energy. Um, not tending to the seeds that are planted. It's feeling unbalanced. It's feeling disrupted. It's feeling out of out of sorts to me so i really this lifetime this lesson it you know in this lifetime it, it's really about finding the space to again let yourself heal let your wounds lick your wounds you know look at those things that have hurt you over time and you know ask yourself what am i still holding on to with this and why am I still holding on to this? And is it in my control? Right? It's like, maybe you are overdoing yourself. Maybe you are, you're keeping yourself so busy that you haven't had time to look at this pain or this grief. Maybe that's what it is. Like you're just keeping yourself extremely busy right now. Trying to do every little thing that comes about. Every little thing that someone asks you to do. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse is like frustrations, uh, impatience. Giving up on your dreams. Giving up on... Like I said, not tending to those seeds that you've planted. Kind of being stuck, not going anywhere. Feeling like you can't move, maybe. Let's see. What is the obstacles? What is the obstacles that Capricorn needs to look out for? Anything else? Anything else in obstacles that Capricorn needs to be aware of? Okay, we got King of Pentacles and Justice. Both of these were upright. King of Pentacles is like... Uh, to me, it is a... Um, okay, it... It's a very wise individual, someone who's experienced, someone who has gained a lot of wisdom as far as financial stability is concerned, someone who set themselves up for success, to have a successful career, to have a successful retirement, to be able to live life luxuriously even, you know, um, justice is like, another card of balance to me uh like knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong for you recognizing those things um the fact that the king of pentacles came out an obstacle could be you know making sure that you're not um overspending your money or you know just throwing away your money I feel like justice is like I think of when I think of justice I 
court comes to mind, right? Like, I think of the judge bringing down the hammer. Um, justice is, like, what's right for, for all involved. What's right for you. What's right for the people connected to this with you. Um, right? Anything else for obstacles for Capricorn? I do feel this super stuck energy here. I feel like, too, with the King of Pentacles, you could be, like, super protective of your space, even. Um, protective of yourself. Um, like, on guard, kind of. The devil, ooh. Going along with an obstacle. So, careful not to give in to any temptations during this time. Anything that um, could Again, keep you stuck here feeling like you're just, its you can't move forward. What gifts does Capricorn have, Spirit? That, oh, we got the tower. The tower. Hang on. Let's see what else. We got another card in the deck that flipped, but it went back in. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You're, okay. The tower. You are good at rebuilding after, after things have come crumbling down. Maybe you are good in, during a time of crisis. You're good at um, knowing how to respond and how to step away during that time of crisis and let the universe take control. But then I feel like you, you may struggle at times with getting uh, stuck there. Like, like when you step away and say, okay, it's up to the universe now, you're, you kind of stop putting in your, your part even. You know, like I feel like that's what that's saying. Let me look at the tower. With it being a gift, like, it's kind of, it's throwing me for a loop because I would never expect that one to come out as a gift. Um, okay, so buckle up and expect the unexpected. Sometimes we resist change to the point that the universe shifts us in a destructive and chaotic way that fundamentally changes how we see our reality. There's a strange beauty in this deconstruction as all of the elements for a better life will be found amongst the rubble. Use this moment to rebuild something foundational, something extraordinary. Trust that you will be held by the universe and you'll become stronger and more resilient as a result. Tower moments are powerful. They're moving, they're shifting, expanding. The tower energy in your life marks a period when you get to reevaluate, redirect, and reestablish and realign. It's magic in the disguise of unpredictability. The brightest of lights will pierce through the pandemonium of change that you're experiencing, and you will find your beautiful truth and blazing potential in the dark darkness of the tower. In chaos, I move toward the brightest light. So that's what I was saying. Like, you're very good at, you know, acting quickly in a time of chaos. Um, but with the Six of Pentacles following that in the reverse, Six of Pentacles in the uprights, a card of balance. So it's like, again, I feel like you're, you, you, you know what to do when it's a time of crisis. But when there's no crisis, it's kind of like you're like, okay, what do I do now? What next? What now? Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse is over giving. Over, you know, like it could be holding on too tightly to what you have. Choosing not to help. Hoarding. Being uncharitable. Selfishness. Your ulterior motives. Inability to accept help. Um, so, it's saying, like, show gratitude in your life. Have 
have compassion. Be generous with others. Don't cling on so tightly to whatever this is that you can't seem to let go of. Whatever this is, you can't seem to see a different a, a, a different viewpoint of, right? Um, you're you're gonna see at the end of this that you know you you are really good at at managing your life you are really good about being organized you are very you're a grounded energy right you're the mountain climber you can climb the the tallest of the tall mountains you can get all the way up to the freaking top of the mountain but it's like once you get up there you don't know what to do with yourself so what are you going to do next what's your next steps what's the next steps for capricorn Spirit God, what is your next step for Capricorn? Angels, loved ones for Capricorn, what is their next step? Can we get one card? Can we get one card? Okay, we got two cards. Nine of Swords. Okay, Nine of Swords upright is like sleepless, restless nights, anxious energy, worries, fears anxiety um you know nine of cups is like emotional release freedom from that turmoil i feel like you need to just cry a good cry cry something out page of pentacles came out in the reverse so it's like maybe don't take action right now maybe it's a time for you to be still right now capricorn because you've been taking so much action that you've burned yourself out you've been so occupied with everything else that you've got going on that you haven't paid attention to yourself and it's time to to self nurture it's time to listen to yourself it's time to allow yourself a moment to release to feel good again to reconnect with that you, that space in you. Maybe you feel like there's there's nothing out there for you, but that's so not true. That's so not true. All right, so we're gonna get a direct message from your spirit guide, from this passed on loved one, this spirit, this angel, whoever this is for you, Capricorn. What message do you have directly for Capricorn Spirit? What does Capricorn need to hear right now from you directly? Can we get one message, one card directly from you, Spirit, for Capricorn? Okay. Leaping in love. Okay, so this could be, you know, this whole reading could be about romance. Like, not giving yourself a chance on romance. But it could be about loving yourself, too. The number seven is standing out here. And this is a spiritual number, right? So, you are going through some spiritual changes. Some awakenings, right? Let's read from the book for you. <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet. Bogey and Bacall, they've got nothing on you. It's romance time. Whether it's a new partner or falling more deeply in love with your own rock star life, rock star life become besotted with your dream. Act as if it has already happened. Everything, as they say, is coming up roses, only this time without thorns. So, yeah. Keep in mind, Capricorn, that our thoughts create our reality, right? And when we get stuck on things, then we create more things to be stuck on, right? So pay attention to your thoughts during this time. Finally, we're going to pull one more message. This is going to be from our numerology deck for you, Capricorn. Keep an eye out for this number. You may see it on receipts or the time on the clock or on license plates or something along those lines. But when you see this number, pay attention, be aware, 
What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? What is your spirit guide trying to tell you? All right. So, what is the number that Capricorn should look out for? That one came out really quickly. So, let's see here. The number six. Love. Another card about love. So, uh, yeah. Really, really, really take some time, Capricorn. Love yourself and let your little heart heal so that whenever you do, if this is a new love coming in for you, a new romance, you have the energy to put towards this new experience, right? Because if you're burnt out from giving and giving and giving and doing and doing and doing and you're an empty vessel, how can you give to anyone else? You need to get back to yourself a little bit. All right, so the number six. This card indicates a need to see the world through the eyes of love and to remember at all times that only love is real. When you look beyond the illusion to see the beauty in the world, you align yourself with source and the intentions of your soul because you attract what you are. When you see through the eyes of love, that's what will surround you in all areas of your life. Sorry, guys, my little doggie's being vocal. I think that's her confirmation, too. Like, you attract what you are. You attract what you believe. So, if you make everything about love, bring the energy of love to every experience, then you're going to manifest more love to come into you. So, this card is also indicating a need to go within to recognize and address any limiting thoughts and beliefs that are holding you back from experiencing love. This is a time when you must ask yourself, am I truly open to giving and receiving love? Do I truly believe I am worthy of love? And do I really believe that love exists for me? Because love only comes when you believe that it exists, when you're open to giving and receiving it, and when you know that you are worthy. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. These cycles are encouraging you to see and believe in love. When you believe in yourself and cherish your life as it is today, love will embrace you in ways you've never known. Unconditional love of self and others will attract more love into your life. I see through the eyes of love and attract more love into my life. Such a beautiful message for you, Capricorn. So that is all I have for you guys for this reading. Again, feel free to hit that like button, guys, or give me a follow if you haven't already. I appreciate you, and it helps me to know that you have resonated with the material. Have a wonderful evening, day, or whatever time it is for you guys. I hope it's a blessed one. Bye.